Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Mastodon Moment. I'll be your host, Cody. If you're like me, you finished Netflix, you're looking for something else to do. Luckily for you, I've got something to do. Let's make some cool tie-dye. I'll show you some of the materials you need, some awesome designs you can make. That way, when summer comes, uh, we can start hanging out with some friends again. You got some cool gear to show off to them, all right? So let's go show you some materials and some designs, and let's get started. All right, guys, now let's show you how to roll some stuff up. But first, the materials you're gonna need. So obviously you'll need a shirt to tie-dye. I used to use a ruler or a paint stick or best, and just a handful of rubber bands, all right? So let's go down and show you how to roll up the shirts now. So this first uh, design we're gonna show you is a single spiral. So for the single spiral, you take your paint stick or ruler and place it wherever you want the spiral to start. So that's in the shoulder, the hip, in the center. Choice is yours, possibilities are endless. For this one, we're going to do a single spiral on the shoulder. So you push down on the spot you picked out, start twisting. Once you start chasing yourself around like that, take your hand, set it next to the shirt and keep on twisting till you get all the way coiled up. Usually have that little difficult piece there. Once you have it all in your hand, pull out your ruler. Really only need two rubber bands. The more rubber bands you put on there, the tighter it'll make it and the less color you'll have on your shirt. So, take your two rubber bands, put it on there like a T or an X, and you're good to go. You see your nice coiled up spot right there. Next, I'm gonna show you how to do a double spiral. So, for the double spiral, you start with your shirt out flat, just like before. You take either one of your corners on the bottom and fold it all the way up to your opposite corner on the shoulder, okay? Once you have that, again, take your paint stick or ruler, place it anywhere the shirt is overlapping itself. What that's gonna do is give you a nice spiral on the hip and a nice spiral on the shoulder. From there, it's pretty much the exact same process. Get your spinning going, start chasing yourself around, take your hand, coil it on up, pull out your stick, grab a rubber band, like so, grab another one right across there, all right? Now, if you've got your shirts all rolled up, you can get your dye kits from Walmart, Michaels, wherever you like to eat your craft supplies, and dye those up, okay? One last design I'll show you. Get a really cool accordion fold. It gives you nice stripes up and down the whole shirt. So you're really just gonna go over top, underneath, over top, underneath, over top, and underneath. Now with this, you'll need a few more rubber bands, and you need to double them over a couple of times. Maybe two or three. I like to go ahead and get my ends locked down first. And then it's really up to you as to how many different little tie-dye breaks you wanna have in there. You can go crazy and do them every few inches. You can just put one or two in there. The choice is yours, and the cool thing about tie-dye is you can't mess it up. So it's always gonna be something cool, something awesome and unique. So get another one on here. If I can get my hands to work right. There we go. Boom. So there you have it. Nice accordion fold, a few different designs. You can also start coiling it up here for a little extra pizzazz. Maybe throw an extra rubber band on here. You can really just kind of go crazy with it also. All right, everybody. I hope you really enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Hopefully you get some cool tie-dye out of it. I know you're gonna have some awesome designs. So stay safe out there, wash your hands, and we'll see you next time, all right?